Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. Now usually when I do Fool of the Week, it's a clip of a politician saying something either in the House of Commons or on TV. From time to time it might even be a tweet which states something really stupid that they were rightly called out on. However, I've yet to find a politician say something deeply embarrassing in the House of Commons to go ahead and share that stupid statement on social media. This is a first for our Fool of the Week segment. Well, Natalie Alphick, a Tory MP and Brexiteer, did exactly that. Have a listen. Natalie Alphick. Mr Speaker, Dover is once again beset by miles of traffic jams along the motorways, affecting residents and local businesses alike. Not because of Brexit, but because of Brussels bureaucracy and red tape. Will my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, meet with me to discuss how we can invest in our local roads, in the M2, in the M20 and the Dover Tap to unclog that road once and for all, and also to get rid of the unnecessary red tape for a trading global Britain? Yeah. How do you even respond to this? And just, just think about it for a moment. This was retweeted. This was tweeted by her, not somebody, not a member of the Labour Party or the SNP or the Lib Dems or Greens or someone in the opposition who took this clip and shared it on social media. She shared it herself. A Brexiteer complaining about traffic jams at Dover. There were no traffic jams before Brexit. There was free-flowing traffic. Now she's complaining about the consequences of Brexit. She's complaining about tra and her solution is for Boris Johnson to undo Brussels bureaucracy and red tape, <laughs> tackling Brussels bureaucracy. And she wrote this. Notice also she switched off uh, replying. You can't reply to her comments unless you you know her or she knows you or something. So I can't actually reply to this, uh, which is interesting. You know, you would share something knowing that you're going to f get backlash and you switch off the comments isn't that isn't that so many questions there but i just want to show you the clip again because i want you to look at the body language of the people around her Natalie Mr. Speaker. Dover is once again beset by miles of traffic jams along the motorways affecting residents and local businesses alike not because of Brexit, but because... Look at the lady here behind, I don't know if you can... The lady on her left, uh, behind her left shoulder. Is, is this I don't know who this MP is, but this MP is going... Um, yes, of course, it's because of Brexit, you idiot. Um, you know, <laughs> what else can you do but laugh? Of Brussels bureaucracy and red tape. Because of bu Brussels bureaucracy... And you hear the other MPs, hey! is that supposed to send some sort of message to Brussels when, you know, uh, <laughs> Ursula von der Leyen looks at this and she goes, oh my goodness, um, these MPs are angry. Maybe we should do something about the bureaucracy contained within the single market to help out Natalie here because Natalie's constituents are angry with all these trucks piled up on the roads. We need to do something about that. We need to help Natalie out. Of course, Natalie uh, voted for this. <laughs> and, you know, how, how do you respond to this? You know, there are fools of the week and there are fools of the week. This has to be the worst fool ever, not just because of the ridiculous statement that she posted, that she placed in, in Parliament. And it's on the record now. This is going to stay there. It's on the record. But she made a video of it and she posted it on social media. What else can we do? What else can we say? That's why she's our fool of the week.